Welcome to Coffee Collaboration here at Seattle Coffee Gear uh, with me, your host, Clementine. Um, it's, a, it's about time for Halloween, and if you know it, um, it's good for you. Uh, you'll probably be at home um, casting spells, uh, making, making um, concoctions, um, and, and uh, wreaking havoc on all sorts of dangerous things, summoning like demons, uh, all, you know, it, it's, it's tradition. So here to help you today is me, your host, Clementine. We're gonna be making a witch's brew involving coffee, um, fingers, cinnamon, uh, anise, orange peel, clove, nutmeg, and vanilla. Um, uh, okay, so I'll hold on to your horses. Uh, we'll, here we go. Okay, so inside of your cauldron, the first thing you'll be doing is putting your water. Um, you'll want to avoid holy water. So. I would not gather this water from any churches. Or if, should I not say that? No, I can say that, that's fine. Okay, so, uh, okay, so. I'm gonna start over on that part. The first ingredient you'll be adding to your brew is um, anti-holy water. You're gonna wanna do about 643 grams of anti-holy water. And then um, next up on the list, you're gonna add in your coffee. Uh, we're gonna do 40 grams of coffee. Um, and like any, any alchemical, recipe, you're going to want to measure it out with precision. So I'm doing 40 grams. Of this pink moon blend. Okay. And if you've ever made cowboy coffee, it's sort of like that except cursed. All right, next up on the list, uh, we're gonna be creating, you know what, let's put on our vanilla. All right, so now, first up, um, let's toss in our weird hand of ginger. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grate it down into my mortar and pestle. It's convenient if you have a grater, otherwise it may not be as precise. So, and we're just gonna put it all in there too. Go, go all in, 100%. Get that ginger in there. It smells like ginger. Got like a citrusy thing. I love the smell of ginger. And then we're gonna be combining it with some dried orange peels. Our coffee right now is just kind of heating up. It's gonna take a while. Sort of similar to a French press. You just let it steep. Okay, so we've got our ginger. Next, we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of dried orange peel. 
about a tablespoon of whole cloves. Uh, about uh, two teaspoons of nutmeg. And then we're actually gonna put our whole cinnamon sticks into the pot. Uh, this is called whole star anise. Um, we'll grind up one and we'll toss the other one in. At this point, you really just have to grind. Get it to a pretty good consistency. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then toss it into your mixture. We're gonna stir it up. <clears throat> and then we're gonna bring it to a boil. So hold tight now while um, we let all of our ingredients come together. Um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna cast some secret spells over this pot. Um, they're secret, so I can't show you. Welcome back. Um, it appears that our witch's brew is uh, ready for consumption. Um, yes. It smells actually a little bit like apple cider, which is kind of cool. But it's, uh, there's no apples in it. There's no apple extract. <laughs> okay, that was hot. Be careful about putting hot steam up your nose. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So with this recipe, we want to keep all of the ingredients in their truest form. So what we're going to do sneaky little unicorn right here. <laughs> oh, okay, so, um, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pour it all, not all of it, we're gonna pour a lot. So we're gonna pour some of it into the cup. The unicorn cup. Okay. Okay. And it is boiling right now. And that's what you want, especially if you're gonna be making coffee, if you're gonna be trying to extract coffee in this kind of a way, you gotta make sure it comes to a boil. Okay. Just gentle. Oh, it's totally on purpose. Curse the table while you're at it also, just long-term effects. That's what I'm all about. Okay. All right, so if you look inside, um, you can see all of the ingredients in there. So it's actually kind of really pretty. It still smells like steam. She's ready. So, like I said, it smells like um, apple cider. 
apple cider. Home, home brewed apple cider with a hint of, um, what is it? A hint of, um, hell? Okay, I don't know. Something, something really dark in there. It's not just the coffee. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's let's taste it. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Well, I feel possessed. So it's pretty good. I think it turned out great. Um, I would definitely recommend it, especially if you're inviting friends and family over to enjoy the holiday season. I think this is a great one to turn to. Definitely, um, definitely worth a try. Um, mm -hmm. Coffee you can chew on. Harkening back to one of our previous recipes, or one of our um, interpretations of a very old recipe, traditional in lots of places, including Turkey. Um, so, there you have it. Witch's Brew. Brought to you by Clementine from Seattle Coffee Gear. All right, um, have a great holiday. Hope that you're having a great day today also. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free and leave them in the comment section. I would recommend clicking the like button. I'd recommend clicking the subscribe button. I mean, even if you're already subscribed, you know, you might as well just like double tap. Why not? Um, all right, thanks for joining me today. Happy Halloween, or happy whatever day it is, and uh, see you later.